In my previous video, I asked if you could explain why that bit of metal goes up relative to the pot when it is dropped. In this video, I'm going to use force diagrams to explain why that is. Let's first of all consider the forces which are acting on the little bit of metal before the pot is dropped. It will have its weight acting down, a small force of attraction from the magnet acting up, and a normal contact force from the bottom of the pot also acting up. The sum of the forces acting upwards exactly balances the weight acting downwards, the resultant force is therefore zero, and the piece of metal stays stationary. Now let's consider the forces acting on that bit of metal when we drop the pot. At that point, the normal contact force ceases to act because the pot is in free fall, but we still have the weight acting down and the magnetic force acting up. The resultant force acting on that bit of metal is now slightly less than the weight of that bit of metal. So it accelerates downwards because that's the direction of the resultant force, but the acceleration is a little bit less than the acceleration due to gravity. Now let's consider the forces acting on the pot and the magnets attached to the lid, which we'll consider as one object. Because of Newton's third law, they'll experience an equal magnetic force, but in the opposite direction, acting down. And they'll also experience a force down due to their own weight. The resultant force acting down on the pot and magnets will therefore be slightly larger than their weight, and therefore they will experience an acceleration at a slightly higher rate than the acceleration due to gravity. So because the little bit of metal experiences acceleration less than the acceleration due to gravity, and the pot and the magnets experience an acceleration larger than the acceleration due to gravity, relative to the pot, the bit of metal will move up. It's interesting to note that the magnetic force gets larger as the bit of metal and the magnets get closer together, so this difference in acceleration increases. In fact, if you look carefully, I think just before it hits the magnet, the bit of metal actually moves upwards relative to the ground. 